Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please do not forget to hit the like button it helps the video a lot so let's get started and as usual we will start with the Dixie so what happened last week uh, with the Dixie we've got a, um, um, a nice attempt to the upside uh, last week to then uh, see the dollar moving back down and closing lower at the end of the week so um, we're still inside this uh, very strange uh, possible correction um, there is still no signal that we're gonna get that uh, continuation move to the downside yet but it is a little bit worrying if we check the daily time frame we see that the key structure that I am really watching uh, right now on the Dixie is this low here this previous swing low if it's gonna hold or not because that is um, the level where we um, have this uh, major swing lower low uh, so sorry higher low and then we've got the continuation to the upside and after that if the market would break this previous low then we could say that the trend um, the possible reverse to the upside is over and we will continue in the direction of the major trend which is a, a bearish structure on um, the higher time frame absolutely but also at the same time we do have this swing higher low higher high we still have a higher low and we still could continue higher but it is not looking good at the moment since we've got this lower high and we start having a little bit of a uh, bearish channel here as you see on the daily time frame if we check the four hour time frame we see also that after this break to the upside here uh, we were looking for a retest of broken structure of these levels and then continuation to the upside but what happened instead was that the dollar broke lower kept pushing lower there was nothing that is holding this market uh, the only thing that is holding for now is this uh, monthly pivot in this previous swing lows we got here, here, here and now on Friday we've got a little bounce at that level. This uh, could also be uh, some profit, uh, profit taking at the end of the week so it does not mean that uh, uh, directly that you have bulls entering the market it is a little bit choppy so as you see here we we had potential continuation then they broke above previous high it is really choppy so we will keep an eye on this uh, major channel instead these swings are very important and as I said this previous low here need to hold if the bulls will continue higher otherwise if broken we will see the dollar testing these lows down here and uh, there is some market that did break higher strongly against the dollar as sterling aussie uh, they did really strong breaks for levels uh, that are very very important so it could be that you might see this continuation the euro did not a uh, major break yet but we will check that later so uh, that is uh, the situation with the dollar if we check gold and um, gold also is not doing good so this is a little bit strange yeah we see uh, uh, 10 years yield uh, going strongly to the upside we see gold going to the downside uh, the stock market was not moving to the upside uh, strongly last week so it is strange why the dollar is um, having such a weakness but if we check gold gold uh, is now at this uh, key structure that we've talked about earlier uh, last week uh, we we have the gold uh, did a, a retest of this area here this gonna be a key support for now and then if we check left we see where we are at at uh, the moment and why this gonna be an important level because if this gonna be a broken structure the next um, <coughs> move on gold gonna be continuation toward these areas down here guys so you need to really keep an eye on that so we go down to the low to the lower time frame at the daily here and we see that um, 
the the price is sitting at this uh, support level there was a tag below this area which is a uh, thing that i was looking at i was telling our uh, traders in our trading room that gold need to tag this previous low they these uh, major structure used to act as magnet for the price and it did that tag now we will see if this will hold as support and we start to see a bounce to the upside here or a failure and a break to the downside but as i said if we see a break to the downside look for a retest and potential continuation toward these levels down here on uh, this market going to the four hour time frame we start having a little bit of a bullish divergence we do have a neckline here that's gonna be important for next week so we might see a little bit of a push to the upside uh, if we see a break to the neckline we look for a retest and continuation and then we should consider taking some profit here if that would be the case because this channel is still alive the price is below the 200 moving average on the four hour as you see here it's been acting as a strong dynamic resistance and it was acting as a strong dynamic uh, support here resistance here resistance here so it is really something to keep an eye at this 200 moving average on the four hour and as far as the price is below that i will consider potential continuation to the downside so again i will repeat any break above the neckline could give you a short term bounce to the upside to retest the channel or the 200 moving average on the four hour to then consider manage that trade take some profit or something like that because there is no more upside until we see the price above these previous swing highs here on the daily time frame so if that would be the case then we will start talking about a very good uh, signal for the upside longer term but as for now this is the scenario we have and if a break below this will happen i will look for continuation to the downside yeah straightforward stuff nothing magical here uh, oil checking the weekly time frame here as well as you may know guys by now i'm um, looking at oil to test 65 area up here yeah because if we look left there is not much on the way if we check here uh, where the price is now reversing uh, there is there is these levels but i still think this here this here and those two tests here are the most important levels i think these gonna act as a magnet for the price to push and tag these previous highs but a little bit of a correction would be uh, very welcome now so it did uh, start a little bit of a correction but all in all if you check the daily time frame you are still in a bullish trend yeah higher highs higher lows these are the swings yeah and a continuation we had a couple of minor uh, swings here this one here and this one here so now last friday the price did break the first uh, minor swing we need to check that on the four hour time frame we saw that we had a huge divergence on the four hour time frame on oil here uh, also we saw the price uh, going down breaking below this structure making a retest of this previously broken structure the first retest gave us a little bit of a bounce to the upside but then they failed and are they are retesting this area so next target is potentially if we break this area here the next target gonna be down here and then if that also broken we start looking for a potential retest of this area as well yeah so um, this area here let me make that a little bit thicker so you can see it this area here is also a potential level uh, of a uh, retest here and uh, we need to see that uh, chart on much lower time frame like the one hour time frame to really see what's happening so again if we break here next the uh, normal target gonna be here and anything below that is these levels but this is will not happen this will not happen until you see this whole structure broken so even if we get a break below this structure i think the bulls will defend um, this area strongly for potential continuation because all in all you are looking at a very strong bullish market with higher highs and higher lows so a correction back toward this swing and continuation is also very possible so be careful about just going all in here yeah <clears throat> EURUSD nothing is happening here yet it is still a uh, if we check the weekly time frame we are in a very strong bullish market absolutely but we should never forget that we are testing a 
uh, or we did test a very important chunk of uh, price action here as you see here this this is a weekly chart and it's been here for weeks uh, trying to break higher to them fail and move lower and that area just um, got broken and rejected to the downside I was looking for a retest toward this area at least before the next bounce to the upside if you remember from my previous videos we did not really get that the market start going a little bit of a sideways right now so we had this impulse retest lower high a break lower which was a signal for potential continuation back toward at least this area as i said before the next move but what happened was the market did strong push to the upside and then failed once again to break higher so this still could be a market that might continue to the downside but you need to lead to be a little bit cautious now because we do have a first higher low here yeah so we do have this first higher low which is a little bit worrying for the moment we start making a potential trend line but as far as there is no break above this previous area we might still see this moving to the downside so keep an eye on the tops here on uh, EURUSD this whole area here gonna be very important but as I said since we start having higher lows major swings with higher lows we might see a little bit of a something like this and a break to the upside is possible and if we break to the downside then we are going for that retest at around monthly s2 so these are the levels to watch down here the trend line and monthly s2 those are the levels to watch uh, next week for uh, on uh, euro usd and as you see the four hour time frame the 200 moving average still acting as dynamic support and resistance and as far as the price is below that 200 moving average on the four hour time frame we might still see that dip to the downside but be careful about that since this happened last week sterling usd showing the way could be the leader here and it did break uh, higher here and then a continuation candle on the weekly so we have two weeks now with a close above these uh, major levels and it looks like there is nothing on the way here until <coughs> sterling usd tagged these previous highs this would be uh, the market objective to tag this level to then start looking for that potential uh, short uh, trade uh, scenario on sterling so for now uh, there is nothing that is showing that this will uh, reverse to the downside it is all a bullish structure on all time frames and uh, we are now looking at the four hour time frame we start have this little stronger channel to the upside as you see we need to keep playing this channel as far as there is no break out of the channel we look for retest continuation to the upside in my opinion to tag those previous highs i will um, even though i am a perma bull on the dollar right now i'm following what the chart is telling us and uh, it is um, a bullish structure why this is yellow guys <laughs> let's let's go back to normal color that i like so um the next um, uh, market objective to the downside could be this previously broken structure here at monthly r2 now i'm saying this with a little bit cautious when a market start trading above above a monthly r2 that is really a big deal and usually they start to lose momentum the bulls start having troubles i'm not seeing those troubles yet so until that we need to keep looking for a continuational trend and at the moment uh, if we check the 200 on the uh, one hour time frame been acting as dynamic resistance and since the break above it start acting as support here it is it is high below my uh, trend line here and as far as the price is above that 200 moving average on the one hour i will keep uh, looking for continuation so again first level monthly or two if that hold give you bullish evidence start look for continuation or if they test the uh, the uh, channel uh, bottom here and the 200 moving average on the one hour we look for potential continuation on sterling usd usd jappy 
uh, if we check the weekly time frame we know that we broke this whole uh, trend to the downside started a nice move higher but last week as you saw here we did not have a break and close above they were there was a rejection back down from monthly or two the price did go back down below monthly or one as well checking the daily time frame though we do still have this uh, trend to the upside with higher highs higher lows there is no break below major swings yet and as far as that is the case we could keep looking for continuation and um, could be a good idea to keep following this channel yeah you see it clearly impulse corrections impulse corrections as far as the channel is holding we could look for continuation so keep an eye on the bottom of that channel for potential continuation to the upside even here the 200 moving average on the four hour been acting as dynamic resistance as you see here then the price broke above it start playing around it here and then we start seeing the continuation so as far as this is also above that it is potentially bullish and continuation so pretty interesting stuff here to watch checking the fibonacci retracement retracement on this last leg here we see that the 618 could uh, coincidentally be at around where the price gonna test the channel next week if that would be the case that would be another confluence so we have the channel we have the trend which is a bullish trend at the moment we have the 618 we have that confluence if the price test that give us bullish evidence we look for potential continuation move to the upside usd chief let's check the weekly on this one as well this is a bearish structure on the weekly it is clearly a bearish structure here with lower lows and lower highs we did a retest and we were looking for potential maybe continuation but if we go down to the daily time frame we saw that we had this inverted head and shoulder scenario we broke the neckline we were looking for a retest and potential continuation for another attempt to tag this area here or test the 200 moving average on the one hour we've got that bounce to the upside to then see that the price stopped on uh, thursday and friday the, the market start moving lower but all in all we still have higher high higher low another higher low a high and another higher low so we start having a little bit of a trending market to the upside so there is still a case for a potential reversal here the bulls are not totally collapsing um here especially that on the retest of the 200 moving average the market kept holding above it did a strong push above the neckline did a retest holding now and we will see what will happen next week if this will end up going sideways and getting choppy we will uh, let it be for now but as far as there is uh, still support at this area here as far as the price keep bouncing around this area i will look for potential continuation to the upside maybe to tag this previous high at around monthly or two and uh, after that we will see if it's gonna break or not so we have this structure gonna be an important level been tested many times and also we have these uh, down here as a potential uh, another support if they got tested that we check this area for a potential support as well on usd chief <coughs> usd cat checking the weekly looking bad as well <laughs> very bearish but still sitting at this uh, potential support area we had this swing that got tested again and um, yeah the price is sitting at that level at the moment checking the daily still the price is there but it is very very choppy we had this break to the upside then it broke lower again and then now sitting at this support so for now if you are bearish you need to see a break strong break below this area to then look for a retest and continuation otherwise it may give you a little bit of a bounce back toward this area uh, from this uh, key support level so keep an eye on this level this is going to be a very important uh, structure for next week but you play it safe with uh, if you wait for that break to happen then look for retest and continuation otherwise support is support so wait to see if you're gonna get that bounce to the upside even here on the four hour you could easily play the 200 moving average as your filter checking here it was resistance 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 then start acting support 
support broken and start acting resistance again so many times you see it clearly on the four hour time frame how well it was played around this 200 moving average on the four hours so use that as your filter right now the price is below if you want to play it uh, like this you wait for a retest and sell once again or you wait for a break above it and look for a retest and continuation to the upside but as i'm uh, more of a structured trader i like that we do have a key support level i will wait here if i get bullish evidence as a double bottom with a bullish divergence for example i will try to go long toward that 200 moving average and if broken we look for a retest and continuation yeah pretty easy stuff aussie usd broke to the upside checking the weekly time frame we are in a very bullish trend with higher highs higher lows broke above the 200 moving average on the weekly did a correction and yet another break looking left now there is nothing on the way until we tag these previous highs it is the same situation as we had on uh, sterling usd let me uh, bring the sterling usd chart to show you what i mean here and go to the weekly on that one as well so you have this double top here and you have this double top here the, those are looking pretty the same yeah checking the le looking left on these two charts uh, here nothing on the way until the top and if we check uh, this one here also there is nothing on the way until we reach the top so maybe these two short telling us something as might continue to the upside and then a break we will uh, we will see what will happen here but all in all uh, after such a break to the upside on aussie even though i don't like the idea to be uh, against the dollar it is a break above structure it is a weekly close but also it is only one day close yeah so last friday this was the one candle that closed above that that is showing the strengths it went up and up and up all the way here since the retest of this weekly uh, pivot point and kept pushing higher so it is only one day the price is at the extreme highs on the rsi is that enough i i, I don't know we will wait and see what i will do here is uh, looking for the four hour time frame checking for a retest of this broken structure if the price would hold above the range do not go back inside deep in the range and fail to break out of it if the price would hold here on the retest some kind of a double bottom or inverted head and shoulder then i will look for continuation to the upside but if the price would go back inside the range to then fail to go outside of it I will consider this one day move to the upside as a potential fake out and i will look for a reversal back down to the bottom of the range at around monthly pivot point so that is that's the play i will do here to be a little bit of a safe play since it it is a break to the upside but again one day only and uh, New Zealand USD, this one did not break yet. So if we check the weekly time frame, this there is no break above previous high as we had on uh, Aussie and uh, the sterling. And uh, the main thing here that this market is already testing a key structure. So if we check left here, we see that the price spent a lot of time here. This is the weekly time frame. So the price did did spend like how many weeks is this? Uh, 12 weeks inside this area of consolidation so there is absolutely a little bit of a trouble here and if we check further left we still see a reversal 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 here we've had reversals here and here a little bit higher and we check even further uh, to the left we see that we had support so it is definitely an area of trouble for uh, new zealand usd and i uh, will not be in um, much chalk if i see a little bit of a correction but friday was a very strong day thursday as well as you saw here the market dipped here thursday gave you a bullish candle and then friday a very very strong bullish candle 
to the upside uh, there is still some room uh, on the RSI as well here so be careful it could though be time for a little bit of a correction so do not forget that the market did break this uh, structure lately so um, it's gonna be uh, pretty interesting to see what will happen on the retest so we might see something like this going down we need to check this area as a potential bullish uh, continuation level so what i will do is to keep an eye on this area look for bullish evidence to see if this would be break retest and continuation or at least a retest of this key structure area at the top here on uh, new zealand uh, usd as well so uh, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot do not forget to hit the like button and see you next week. Bye-bye.